works practice set very important topic whenever you go for any exam whether it is of RIMC RMS all india scenic or up scenic any of the exam if you are appearing the topic is really very important so please be focused and watch the video till the last part also students as you all know your RIMC exam is near so we have started rankers batch which is specially for RIMC aspirants you can join the batch by calling on the numbers which is there on the screen also you can avail our hostel facility uh, by calling on the numbers on 9528827121 and 7088827311 beginning with the class of today this is the first question in front of you so i will be providing you 10 questions and along with that i will be giving you some rules with how you have to fill when the certain kind of sentence comes clear everyone so this is the first question in front of you what is that so here is the first question and what is that it dash raining since last evening it dash raining since last evening it has been raining since last evening the right answer is it has been raining since last evening always remember whenever you are having uh, connectors like since and for you are having prepositions like since and for you always have to go with present continuous tense present or past continuous tense present or past continuous tense clear everyone present past perfect continuous tense this you have to follow clear next if i talk about 16 miles a long walk most of the students what they do they they just put 16 miles are a long walk 16 miles were a long walk so the right answer of this question is 16 miles is a long walk why whenever you are covering a certain distance in one way like for example if you are covering it by walk or if you are covering it by any means of transport but that should be a single one okay either it should be a through walk or either it should be through any means of transport so whenever you are covering a certain distance by one means you have to use a singular walk and whenever you are covering a certain distance with the help of two means of transport you have to use the plural walk this is the concept when you are getting 16 miles 10 kilometers these kind of units right like if i say 10 miles are to be covered partly by foot and partly by train okay so in that case you will be using plural verb however when you are covering a certain distance at one go means through single mode of transport then you have to go for singular verb is that clear so the right answer of this question is option number b that is is next question is i am a person who dash in calling a spade a spade who dash in calling a spade a spade i am a person who believe in calling a spade a spade because you will not be using plays believes if your pronoun is i you will not be using plays or believes you will always go for i am a person who believe in calling a spade a spade clear everyone so my right answer is option number a what is the right answer here the right answer is option number a moving on to the next one okay students all india scenic school students please remember if you have not cleared this attempt and you are having your another attempt to wait for you you have to join our toppers pro batch toppers pro batch which is basically for all india scenic school exam students okay whether your siblings are there or any of your cousin who is preparing for all india scenic school exam just tell them to register and purchase this course the course will be available to you for one year and also the fees is very nominal in order to get more details you can call on the numbers which are there on the screen please dial 
This is my plural verb and this is my singular verb. This is the case of verbs. However, whenever you are using nouns, you are putting s after a noun, it will become plural. Cow is a noun. If you are putting cows, that means it's a plural. However, the case in verb is vice versa. That means if you are putting s after a verb, uh, it will become a singular verb. So this since cows is my plural noun, I have to use plural verb which is eat and not any other verb. Clear? Moving on to the next one. What is the next one? 16, I think the question has been repeated. Okay, just let me scroll it down. Next question. The Swamiji dash very eloquently yesterday. The Swamiji dash very eloquently yesterday. The question is wrong, not the here. We will not be using the here. Swamiji dash very eloquently yesterday. Swamiji spoke very eloquently yesterday. Swamiji spoke very eloquently yesterday is this much clear students you also have to give me the answers in the comment box please don't keep on watching the videos what you have to do you have to ready with your answers and when i uh, tell the answers please do verify with them is that okay is that okay everybody Yes, the correct meaning of this word is to say something perfectly. To say something perfectly. So, Swamiji spoke very eloquently yesterday. Next question. Either Namrata or I dash going to be selected. Either Namrata or I dash going to be selected. So if you could have attended my classes, you would have known the reason that whenever we have either no, when whenever we are sent, whenever we are having sentences like either or, we have the connectors like either or. The verb must satisfy the nearmost subject. I is my nearmost subject, so which verb will satisfy here? Verb and will satisfy here, which is my auxiliary verb. So either Namrata or I am going to be selected. This will be the right answer. Clear everyone? Next, target RMS set exam 23. RMS students who are going to appear uh, in December exam, you are Wasting your time if you are not purchasing Geometry Schools Achievers Batch. Okay, this batch is meant specially for you. How to join, what are the facilities you will be getting. Every detail you will get to know once you dial on the numbers provided to you on the screen in the beginning of the video. Next, one of my brothers dash settled in USA. One of my brothers dash settled in USA. Now, again confusing topic. One of my brothers dash settled in USA. Very confusing for the students. So students, the right answer of this question here is has. One of my brothers has settled in USA. With one of means out of many. I am talking about only one since I am talking about a singular noun. So I have to go with singular verb. Clear? Moving on to the next. Fill in the blank with the appropriate form of the verb. Slow and steady dash the race. Slow and steady both are complementary. With complementary you have to go with complementary verbs. Slow and steady win the race. Slow and steady win the race. This will be the correct answer. Slow and steady win the race. So these are my plural words here. Slow and steady 
acting and like nouns these are my two plural nouns connected by and plural noun plural verb so i'll be go with win the race slow and steady win the race next okay students up senior students please listen it very carefully we have introduced mr batch for class 6 7th and 9th uh, please do enroll yourself in the batch if you want to prepare seriously for up senior exam which will be there in january 2024 next question each one of them give a prize yesterday each of them was given a prize yesterday okay with each one every one i told you whenever we are getting the sense of each every we always have to go with singular verb and in these four options was is my singular verb the police are dealing with unlawful protest what could be the right verb here the right verb is the police is dealing with unlawful protest the police is dealing with unlawful protest no here i'm really sorry the here the right answer is no improvement because certain words which seems singular but actually the meaning they have is of plural here also police is a word which seems singular but it actually plural since it is plural so i have to go with plural noun which is are and nothing else okay similarly i have cattle here similarly i have cattle here this word seems singular but it is actually plural and hence we have to use the plural verb to satisfy this word always remember students used to get confused with police we have to go for which verb the police are dealing with unlawful protest is this much clear to everybody